Hi, this video is about changing the fluid or the lubricant in the rear differential of a Honda CRV, and specifically, I'm going to show it on the two 2007 model. Um, here are the tools you need. So, starting with a wrench, this is a 3 8 of an inch wrench um, that's going to be used to unscrew and rescrew the drain and fill plugs in the rear differential. Um, then you need 1.4 liters or 1.5 quarters of uh, a lubricant. I'm gonna put a link in the comments below uh, where you can buy that on Amazon. This is the recommended fluid. You need an oil pan as well as a uh, oil pump. This is a cheap one. You can also get better ones at a decent price, for example, from all these auto parts. Uh, let's see, you need two jack stands to lift up your car. What is not shown here is um, that I also used a hydraulic um, jack stand that is um, very useful. I would re recommend using that. You can also use the jack stand that is uh, in your car for to lift your car um, for tire changes, but um, I wouldn't really recommend that because they are not sturdy. You need also replacement washers, ideally at least. The ones you find on um, all these auto parts and other places usually show you the wrong size of this washer. I'm gonna also put a link in the comments uh, yeah, for the washers uh, where I bought them on eBay with the right size. Good. Then there are also two stones here. Those I use um, to secure the tires so the vehicle can't move forward or backwards while the vehicle's on the jack stands. That's for your own safety. Also, I would recommend wearing goggles and wearing gloves uh, during the operation so um, yeah, to protect yourself from the chemicals. Um, I also had trouble undoing the uh, fill and drain plugs. So I would recommend that you have some rust release agent and maybe a longer lever arm wrench than what I had here. I have a fairly small one. I would also recommend having Heinz repair manual um, that helped me a gr great deal doing this job. Oh yeah, and what is also not shown is that you should have cardboard uh, where you can lie on and also some paper to collect spillage. This is a walk around around the vehicle. What you can see in the front is that the vehicles are secured so the vehicle can't roll forward or backward while it's on the jack stands. And we have the hydraulic jack stand there on the left that pushes up the front as well. And that can also be used to raise the vehicle on the static jack stands that are in the back here, the red ones. Moving around the vehicle, I can show you the points where you can put the jack stands. Every vehicle has uh, yeah, special, specially designed points to put the jack stands and the Honda CRV. There's some metal lips uh, where I'm pointing at now um, where you can put the jack stands. And the same is true for the other side and in the front. It's hard to see with the illumination but there's a metal lip that carries all the way. Notice that I also put a wooden bar between the jack stand and the car to reduce the wear uh, between the metal parts of the jack stand and the car. So going under the vehicle you can see I put some paper on the ground um, just to make it a bit more comfortable and also secure any spillage that might occur. The oil pan is there to collect all the oil. Here is the drain and the drain plug of the rear differential. So this is a rear differential and there's the drain plug. That's where the fluid comes out. And then on the other side, a bit higher, that's exactly where the fill plug is, where we're gonna refill the rear differential fluid. Now I'm ready to unscrew the drain plug. So I set the wrench in the correct direction. And actually what is not shown in this video is that I had a ton of problems uh, unscrewing the drain plug and also the fill plug due to corrosion. So what you can't see is my struggles and uh, what I ultimately did uh, using a longer leverage wrench and some de-rust um, substance. 
uh, leading to this success. So now I opened the drain plug and we are ready to unscrew uh, the drain plug. So shown accelerated here. So a bit quicker, just screw it out with the hand once it's loose and then uh, the fluid drains out. Set the oil pan correctly and then you have a nice flow of fluid coming out. Can wash the old washer that is shown here and the plug in the fluid. Uh, I bought new fluids in the uh, new new washers, excuse me, in this bag. What I then proceeded to find out was that these washers that you will find everywhere listed at Ollie's um, Auto Parts, for example or rockauto.com they list this washer as being the correct washer for the rear differential but it doesn't fit it's too small so what i did i used the old washer which had a little bit of corrosion on it and just used that to uh with it with the drain plug and that works fine it doesn't leak today this section is about refilling the rear differential with the fluid, I'm not gonna show the procedure, but just talk about the tools and what you need to do. So you have the cardboard on the ground with the oil pan to make the lying more comfortable and also to collect spillage. What you then need to do is take the wrench, unscrew the fill plug and uh, take an oil pump as is shown on the left here in a second. Uh, then the pan is the, the oil pump. And you pump the fluid out of these containers into the fill plug. Um, until it runs out of the fill plug, that's the amount you need. Then you're done with refilling, put back in the fill plug, uh, screw it shut uh, and lower the vehicle and then you're done. Thanks for watching and check out the links in the show notes.